Pretty lady. That's my wife, by the way. And that's my daddy. Has fame uh, and fortune been everything you thought it would be? Fame and fortune comes at a very high price. It really does, doesn't it? It does. I'm not complaining. Um, wait a minute. There's no fortune here yet. <laughs> what are you talking about? Yeah. Uh, if you guys think that there's a lot of money on YouTube, even at a million subscribers, you would be very mistaken. <laughs> yeah, in fact, this is a fact. I have not taken a penny from this YouTube channel it's yet true. to it's this true. date. This guy does all the work, but, well, so it's kind of his livelihood. You I do, do most of the work. I do the scut work. The busy work, the time-consuming work. work. But he's the star. Well, <laughs> we have got a very interesting rash of a very interesting etiology, meaning what caused it. So we're going to go take a look here in a moment. Okay, so I see we've got red, red cheeks and something going on with her arms and up on the upper chest and neck area. Well, tell me what's going on. When did this start? So this started two days ago. Um, it just started out as like kind of a regular rash and she's been acting her normal self. And then this morning she woke up and we barely recognized her. Uh -huh. <laughs> she was very bloated and puffy. Yeah. Was she out in the sun at all? Yes. So we had her out in the sun for a few hours yesterday with sunscreen and gotcha. then a couple hours the day before with sunscreen as well. Gotcha. So uh, for our viewers, you can see she probably had a shirt on that came up to about there on the sleeves. And then we've got a pretty good reaction there. I bet the shirt kind of went like that. And of course, you don't have clothes over your face. And then she probably had shorts on? Um, yeah. Yeah. She did. So we've got legs involved with a little sparing. Basically, the chest that was covered with a shirt and the uh, pants area that was covered with shorts is fine. And the rest of the body has this um, bright red, slightly puffy rash. So this is an eruption. Some people would call it a sun allergy or reaction to the sun. There is a tiny chance that it was the sunscreen itself that caused a, you know, what we call contact dermatitis where you're actually reacting to the sunscreen. Uh, so next time you apply a sunscreen after she's all better, just do like one arm or something. Mm -hmm. Just make sure she's not reacting to the sunscreen itself. Uh, but as you brought up, uh, Mom and I were chatting just before we got on camera here, and uh, the question was, oh my gosh, is she allergic to the sun? <laughs> and it's like, well, we'll see. So after this is all done, we'll have you give her a brief exposure, and we'll see what happens, and, um, and then we'll take it from there. It might be the combination of that particular sunscreen and the sun. I used two different ones. Oh, did you? Yes, I used one, and then the following day I used the other, because she started to get that rash, and oh, so interesting. I thought it could be, so interesting. it just got worse. Well. Uh, folks, we have an allergic reaction to sunlight. Ugh. So the question was, how do you know it was a reaction to the sun? And the answer is because the reaction, the skin rash, is only in the sun-exposed areas. Face, upper neck and chest, arms in the uh, farmer tan kind of distribution, right? The shirt, if I was to go out in the sun, it would end right here, right? This part would be protected, this part would have the reaction. And the same with her legs. So clearly it had something to do with the sun. Whether or not it was also in conjunction with the sunscreen is something to be determined in our next experiment. But yeah, this is a sun reaction. It's somewhat of a histamine release, just like an allergic reaction triggered by the sunlight. So we're gonna use an antihistamine. You can use uh, over-the-counter uh, allergy medicines, Claritin, Zyrtec, uh, Benadryl, or nothing if she's not too miserable. And um, I've only very rarely seen these get so bad where you needed to actually give a steroid, which is a very powerful anti-inflammatory. Can this go away? Like that might be another thing. Like, is this something she's gonna deal with her whole life? So the question is, you know, is this gonna be lifelong? And I have yet to have, I've seen this a handful of times in my career, and I've never had one that lasted their whole life. I don't even recall it lasting more than one summer. You just have to be careful for a little while here. And then, like I said, and then, like I said, slowly reintroduce to the sun once she's perfect and see how much she can tolerate. I mean, she got a lot of sun. 
right? Mm -hmm. So I'll usually see this in people who go boating. Mm -hmm. so there's something about the sun <laughs> and the water. direct and the reflection off the water. It's kind of like a double whammy. Or if you're just getting, you know, hours of sunshine, even though you had sunscreen on, it, it was, uh, <laughs> there you are, there you are, pika, 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 boo. <laughs> okay, so uh, chances are she'll be fine with smaller exposures, and you'll build up to see what she's able to tolerate. Okay. Yeah, very rarely is this lifelong. In fact, I've never seen it be so, although I have heard of such cases, so we'll see. Thanks for watching. I'm Dr. Paul. Bye. 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 <laughs> She's too cute. Yeah.